Armstrong from Forever Family Animal Hospital. Today we're going to be talking about uh, dentistry in our canine and feline patients. So annual dental cleanings are super important to get the tartar off of their teeth, clean under the gum line, they get a full polishing, and they get a fluoride treatment here at our hospital. Um, so we're going to show you um, a full dental cleaning, what that entails the safety um, that we go through to make sure that this is good for our patients. And we're gonna show you how awesome it is to get these teeth super clean. So um, I'm gonna take over as a um, camera person and show you what we're doing um, with little Lorelai here for her dental cleaning, okay? All right. Ready? Okay, so here we are with Lori and Drew is gonna get started with scaling her teeth. So he's gonna show you um, the tartar that is on there. So those are pretty yucky. Um, they smell pretty bad and if we don't get that bacteria off and take good care of her teeth um, It can actually harm her organs in the long run So we're gonna watch um, Drew do his his magic and get those teeth clean. So whenever you're ready to start So we use pretty much a human grade ultrasonic scaler and it's gonna just pull that tartar right off So you can already see it coming right off those back teeth This is pretty much a human grade ultrasonic scaler and um, it will get all the tartar off their teeth. So sometimes the technician too will um, come back to the teeth if it's not all the way clean um, just because the ultrasonic scaler can get a little hot. So sometimes we kind of skip around, we'll do the next tooth and then we'll go back to that tooth. Uh, but this gets all of that nasty tartar off. Okay. So some dogs can have um, staining on their teeth, um, and that's going to be normal. So it's kind of like you and I, we, we drink a lot of coffee, a lot of tea, a lot of soda. Um, the dentist is always thrilled about that, and um, they recommend, um, you know, cleaning every six months. But sometimes it's really hard to get, ooh, look at all that tartar coming off. Um, it's really hard to get the staining off, okay, but all that tartar is coming right off. So we have a really good ultrasonic scaler here. Um, gets all the tartar off that he gets up under the gum line with it and it is just magical how all that thing just, it just comes right off okay and so while Drew is scaling um, Lori's teeth we're going to talk about the monitoring um, which is uh, super super important for dentals to make sure that this is uh, safe for our pets okay so here we go we're going to start with some of our monitoring okay so Lori right here is under general anesthesia and we are monitoring her very closely so we have monitoring equipment over here for her heart rate her blood pressure how well is she oxygenating her breaths uh, per minute and we have her hooked up to everything we checked her temperature she's on IV fluids and we have her under gas inhalant to uh, keep her under while we are cleaning her teeth so we lubricate their eyes we have her intubated, um, and we make sure that this is as safe as possible for her. Okay, so she has something called an endotracheal tube. That's right here. That's going into her, um, into her mouth, into her trachea, and there's a little cuff that's inflated in there. So you can see the little cuff over here, that little white thing. Yep, Drew's got that. That little cuff has a little bit of air in it, and that just makes sure that um, there's no water that's going to go around the tube. So um, it's become kind of popular, the um, anesthesia-free dental cleanings, um, but uh, we don't recommend those. Um, our national organizations do not recommend those because all this water that is flying off of the scaler can go down into the dog's trachea if they are not properly intubated and taken care of. So we don't recommend the anesthesia-free dentals. They can be very dangerous for your pet. We go through um, a lot of measures to make this as safe for them as possible. They get pre anesthetic blood work. They have an IV catheter in place, so Lori's got a little IV in right here where her fluids are hooked up. Um, they get medication to make their anesthesia safe. And here at Forever Family, we give anti nausea medications to all of our surgery and dental patients as well. So, this is kind of what a dental cleaning looks like. Um, I'm going to pause the video and do some vital readings for her, and then we're going to go over the polishing and the fluoride treatment when we're ready. 
All right, we are back in action. Little Lori's doing really well under anesthesia. We're still monitoring all her values. She's doing great. So Drew just did a full ultrasonic scaling. He got all the tartar off of her teeth. So they look so much better. All right, and now we're gonna do um, a polishing. So that's the same as um, humans that go to the dentist. It's the same um, angle profi right here with the same kind of gritty paste. And we're gonna polish those teeth really well too to make sure that they are healthy. So we're gonna watch Drew do that now. All right. And Lori's being super cooperative under her anesthesia and doing well. So you can hear the compressor in the background that kind of just puts um, compressed air in there to make sure that the um, polisher can spin appropriately. Very cool. So he's gonna polish all those teeth for us and then we're gonna show you how we do our fluoride treatments. Okay, so all of Lori's little teeth got polished, so now Drew's gonna use his um, little water gun here to kind of rinse off all of the polish. So again, same as human dentistry. And then she has that little plastic tube in her mouth that's just kind of like a little mouth gag um, to uh, help keep her mouth open so we can see what we're doing. There we go. All right. So we're gonna move on to her fluoride treatment. Okay, so now Drew is gonna give Lori a fluoride treatment. So um, this is gonna help prevent um, cavities for her and dental issues in the future. So it's um, minty flavored and they always smell really nice afterwards. So he's gonna rub that on all the surfaces of her teeth. And we also take this opportunity too while we have these guys sleeping, and we can probably take that little mouth gag off and do her canines and stuff too. Thanks, Drew. Um, we also take this opportunity, you can see Chris in the background trimming some nails. So um, when dogs are sleeping or cats are sleeping, we do their nails, we do their anal glands. Uh, sometimes we clean their ears and do things that sometimes they don't normally tolerate when they're awake. So Drew is rubbing the fluoride on all of her teeth surfaces and then we let that sit for a couple minutes and then we wipe it off with some gauze, okay? So then Lori is gonna wake up from her anesthesia. We have her extubated soon and um, she's getting some fluids to make sure she's nice and hydrated. And then that's it. So a routine dental really only takes five to 10 minutes for us um, and uh, practice makes perfect. And uh, you know, obviously if there's extractions or um, any concerns, then we call our pet owners and discuss all the options with them. So thank you, Lori, for being a, um, uh, such a good little patient. Thank you, Drew, for this beautiful dental cleaning. And um, Lori's mouth and her pet owner sure do appreciate it. All right, thank you guys. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Again, Dr. Armstrong from Forever Family Animal Hospital.